Okay, time to say hello and good morning to our guest for today, James McAvoy. Hello and good morning. How are you? Good, thank you. Hey, thank you for coming on the show today. Thank you for having me. You are very welcome, but not thank you for the the thoughts and the disturbance and the sort of intense night's sleep that I had after seeing your brand new movie Split. <laughs> um, and, and this is a this is a you know a complimentary thing I'm saying to you good. because I see a lot of films for work, uh-huh. and sometimes you just walk out of there and you phone your friend and you forget all about it. Uh-huh. This movie will stay with you, won't it? Oh, well, we hope so. We hope so. We hope it will make the audience, like, hope it will disturb them and make them scared and give them big frights. Hope it will make them laugh as well, actually. Um, uh, but yeah, it's a good old, it's a good old scary flick. Yeah, it's proper, proper scary because I went into it yesterday because we get to go and see these movies at sort of uncouth times. Aye. So, like, normally you'd go, like, with your mate, Saturday night, have some at tweet, go to see new James <laughs> McAvoy movie. But we went to see it at 11 a.m. on a Thursday morning. Oof. So it, you're not really in the mood for what is billed as a psychological horror movie. Yeah. And I said before I went into the guy who worked there, I said, is this scary? And he went, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, and he went, do you have to go back to work after this? And I said, yeah. And he went, oh, boy. <laughs> oh, yes. So even the guy who worked there was sort of spooked by it a little bit. Do you know what? It's weird. It's the kind of film that if you watch it on your own, it's pretty much just scary. If you watch it with a big crowd, it is scary, but it's also this big kind of crowd laughs as well. It really was. We really laughed as well. Look, mate, me in a skirt and high heels, it's going to be funny. Yes. When you get a script for something like this, uh-huh. because if I started to explain now, what was going on people would be like hang on a second whoa, whoa, whoa. hang on again like you know it's quite an intense amount of information uh-huh. how do you do it do you do you sort of because we were imagining sort of flicking through it like a magazine so you'd be like <laughs> right okay oh that happens yeah I look quite like that right yeah that bit like how, yeah. how do you how do you take it and do you, do you sit there and like study it as if you're revising my whole process of building the character starts with the first read through right the first reading and I'm already coming up with ideas and I'm going to do this here I'm going to do that I'm going to ask if I can change that line and then I'm going to subvert the scene here I'm not going to do that I'm going to try and take the character this way Uh, which is why it's really difficult if you don't get the part because you've already started your work and you're already connected and you're already like yeah I know what I'm going to do yeah. this guy and then they go like oh yeah we gave it to Toby Maguire and you're like oh, that guy <laughs> <laughs> has that happened when you're watching a movie where you're like I was up for this and he's rubbish in this now uh, yeah a couple of times name that movie no, no I'm, I'm just not just going kidding, I'm just I, can't, I, can't, I, can't. I would love to though because I'm like I would, I'm still like I would have nailed that and your film would have been good so get it up you um, <laughs> uh, but it's also happened the other way around where I I was meant to do something and for whatever reason I ended up pulling out right and then I've seen somebody else do it and I've been glad that they've done it because I'm like you know what they were more right for that right. part than if I had done it right wow I like that honesty with yourself yeah James we're gonna play a song right uh, is there anything you would like to hear on, on the radio is there anything you particularly love that we could put on uh, what was I listening to last night that I loved oh yeah Motivation Kelly Rollins should we have that on yeah you're listening to Kelly Rowland, Motivation. Yeah, sexy as. Although the rap that's in it is a little bit funny, I think, because it's like, I'm talking about doing the dishes on you. And uh, and that's quite, and it's like, she's all like, she's all like, here's my motivation, you're all sexy, keep going on that long. And then he's like, he comes in with the rap, he's like, I'm going to do the dishes on you. <laughs> it's, like, it's just like, and it is sexy what he's saying. Yeah. But um, yeah. Well, maybe yeah. it's a little bit sexy, this foam. And it's not quite, I'm going to do the cloth. dishes on her, but like, <laughs> Yeah, it's good. Well, let's say that then. It was not the choice I thought you were going to go for. But... Just, I was listening to you last night. I was like, that's a sexy song. <laughs> well, let's hear it this morning on Radio 1. Get in. BBC. Radio 1. Uh, our guest this morning, James McAvoy, is still with us. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Uh, talking about the award season, we had Sienna Miller on the show on Friday. Uh-huh. And we were speaking about how, you know, award season is, is on now. Kicked off Golden Globes the other right. week. And um, we're saying, what is this like? Because you and her, you know, you're, you're British actors who've become huge in Hollywood and Hollywood life is oh. is pretty weird she was saying and yeah. it couldn't be further away than life over here it is weird it's a city that revolves around one thing like imagine if London all revolved around like talking about chewing gum it infuriates you <laughs> do you know what I mean yeah. it's like LA revolves around talking about films and yeah. it's sort of it's hard to get away from that and it's great for the first couple of days and all that but then you're meeting your like 100th person in a bar and you're still talking box office and you're like wow yeah man, I guess it's weird. like when I go home to Oldham and the conversation 
conversations around what you're having for your tea. Yes. Oh, exactly. like, like, I mean, it's my favourite topic of conversation. What are you having for your tea? Do you tonight? know what? I'm going to Manchester tonight, so I'm going to have a chippy tea. Come on. Yeah. So yeah. I'm going to have. Yeah. What, what is your chosen order? At a I have just chips and gravy uh-huh. with um with like a bread roll buttered on the side. Nice. But no no protein, no fish. No. No cod, no harder. No, 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 no. No fish cake. Just double carb <laughs> with butter. <laughs> Carbs two ways. What about you? Uh, I would go Harrigan chips. Yeah, Harrigan chips. But if um, if I can get, I remember being in Tynemouth one time, and there was a chippy up there right beside the Abbey uh-huh. on the cliff top, and they did scraps, and that was the first time I'd ever. Oh, I scraps. love scraps, and I really like scraps. It's scraps just like the bits no one wants. I think scraps is yeah, they're like the people at the orgy that nobody wants to touch. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, portion of scraps. <laughs> portion <laughs> of scraps, please. Um, Sienna was talking to us about when you, when you go to you know award season Aye. and you're on a red carpet and for a moment you're like, okay, there, yeah, this is normal. Have you experienced the insanity of being on a red carpet? And you're like, oh, there's Samuel L. Jackson and yeah. there's Brad Pitt and there's you know Jeff Bridges or something like. How how crazy is that? And could you see yourself ever thinking that that's normal? Um, I, there was only one time where I'd done so much of it. It was around about the time that I was pushing atonement. And um, I think I got nominated for something in America. So we went along. <laughs> something we were like, in America? Yeah, no, no. So something in America. But um, we were at different <laughs> award ceremonies every other night and we were at different film yeah. festivals every other day. And it was always a red carpet and all that. And I got a bit sort of, I didn't get blasé about it, but I got... I just got a bit like, just got to get through this. Yeah. And you're like, geez, oh, you want to be able to enjoy it, you know? And there was a kind of key seminal moment for me when after the Oscars that year, uh, oh, they'd nearly cancelled the Oscars. That's what it was because the writers went on strike. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why can't you just improvise it? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You could improv, you don't need writers. Anyway, yeah. Just make um, it up on the spot. Yeah, I do it all the time. <laughs> and why I've made it all the way to the middle and I'm not getting any higher. <laughs> um, and... Uh, uh, so we went to the Oscars and afterwards we got invited to go to Prince's house for uh, a party and we were like, oh, do you know what, we're a bit tired, we're not going to go. No. Yeah, and after that I was like, I'm never doing that again. Are you, do you didn't go to Prince's house because you're a bit tired? Yeah. You, that is messed up, man. I know, mate. Tell me about it. Do James, you know I mean? come on. There's always a Red Bull. Oh. There's always a can of coke. <laughs> I feel fat. Um, well, James, thank you for coming on the show. Thank you for having me. It's great to see you. James's brand new movie, Split, is out this Friday. Make sure you go and see it. But I think that you need to take... A- a friend because you need to discuss this afterwards yes definitely so, so go see it this weekend um, James thank you so much thank you Thanks, cheers mate. one